So what I wanted to do in this research, together with my colleagues, is to uh, identify the original viral genome, the original viral genome type, because the virus mutates, it changes, um, and uh, you get variants arising, and, and which is the original one. Instrumental in this is the GISAID database. So this is run by uh, a, a German ministry, and people from across the world, especially uh, from East Asia and China, have contributed their genomic information into this database. What is now important to consider is that the earliest genome which has been placed into the database is not necessarily the origin of the disease. Um, if I had sampled, you know, someone from Scotland and put him in the database first, then obviously it would look as if Scotland was the origin. That, that is not um, a valid approach. My background has mainly been to trace uh, prehistoric human migration through human molecules. So we, we use and have developed software methods to reconstruct prehistoric molecules which no longer exist. And if you apply that, you find out that uh, a, a location in the network, which we've called type A, is the original type that would have infected humans. Then it would mutated and change into a type B. This type B was then the first genome to be picked up in Wuhan when the disease became apparent. Um, and so researchers might be forgiven for thinking at the time that B is the original type, um, but actually it's, it's not. It's type A, which in Wuhan is only a minority type, but B has become the majority type during the outbreak. Um, and that has mutated further into C. Now, the C type is not found in the early phase of the outbreak in uh, in China, it is found outside. For example, it's well represented in Singapore.